Hi everyone, I'm Nasmina Baghdadi and I'm a 13 years old Moroccan student in the 9th grade in Kulmoni, which is in Mohamedja. Today, I'm participating in a class project. Basically, I was nominated by Lina Dubani for the green nomination. First things first, let me briefly explain what it is, because actually the origin might surprise you. It is not as great as you would think. Um, initially, it was called the NAC nomination, which was somehow uh, an alcohol game on Facebook. And obviously, that is not the game I will participate in. Don't worry. Um, but fortunately, a college student decided to make it smarter, and he created the SMART nomination. Uh, you have to film yourself doing good deeds to help fight against any of the many society's issues. However, our unit is entitled Handle with Care. We thus discussed many environmental issues and we also talked about the urgency we're in to prevent humanity from going extinct. Therefore, the teacher decided to mix it up a bit and she created for us the Green Nomination where you do good deeds, yes, but not for the poor, not for the orphans, you do it for the environment. As a Moroccan youngster, it might become my duty to face and to handle the many problems we have here in Morocco. The first problem encountered is definitely drought. The last serious drought uh, Morocco has suffered from was, I think, 30 years ago. And just so you can perceive the scale, the level of water in the dams was at 45% while today it is only at 6%. Can you just imagine? 45% and it was a catastrophe. It was the worst case ever. What are we supposed to call it now with 6%? Morocco is and will be suffering from this lack of water. But this water is necessary for our survival. Not only does it create electricity, but it also feeds us all. And without these two factors, Morocco will collapse. And if you don't personally feel threatened by what I'm explaining right now, maybe the lack of security it will lead to will convince you. Yes, people will starve. And if people starve, they will probably assault for food. Each action leads to another. That's just the way it is. Also, as I personally live in Monica Plaza, I've noticed that the sea is literally eating up our land. The sand part of the beach used to be so much wider, and you'll probably see that with your own eyes in this video. Again, just so you can perceive the scale, uh, in Morocco, the sandy coastline is disappearing at a rate of 12 centimeters per year on the Atlantic coast, and 14 on the Mediterranean coast, which is almost twice as much as the world average. The rising of the sea level will have a serious impact on our country. It is just waiting to strike. Finally, several animal species are endangered in Morocco. Some have already disappeared, like the Lion of the Atlas, seen for the last time in 1930, and also the Imperial Eagle between 1960 and 1980, I think. Various animals have seen their numbers decline in recent years and cause the pressure on their natural habitat because of deforestation, fires, of clearing for agricultural purposes, or the overgrazing of the livestock. And we also have poaching and even trafficking of these endangered species. Even if you don't encounter these issues today in your everyday life, you have to understand that there will be huge consequences if we don't act now. In this video, I will not try to convince you to become the best environmentalist that has ever existed. I simply want to show you that small actions actually make a difference if you're not alone in this. Therefore, I'm going to give you some easy and tiny habits you must develop in your everyday life. Just some reflexes that slowly lead humanity towards change. Then I'm going to clean up the beach, just pick up some of the trash that unconscious people throw, even though we literally put thousands of garbage cans just next to them. Anyways, less talking, more taking action. Let's go. If a light is on and you're leaving the room or just like you don't need it anymore, just turn it off.
If a cable is plugged in and you are not using the device anymore, just unplug it. I decided to go grocery shopping and the first decision I've made was to take my own bag with me because it was so useless to just go there and take another plastic bag they are going to give me even though I have thousands of bags at home. The second massive decision I've made was to actually leave the car. I just walked to the grocery store and let me say that it was pretty cool. Like. The weather was nice and I enjoyed the sun, so yeah, I, I'd do it again. So I needed milk for my breakfast and instead of taking the usual cow milk that like everyone chooses, I've decided to take a vegetable uh, milk, soy based. Uh, actually, it's pretty good because it has um, a vanilla flavor and I always take this one, like it's so good. Also, since I wanted to eat pasta for my dinner, I've chosen pasta in bulk to pasta in plastic bags because it's like so much better and plastic bags are just useless at this point. Then I drank orange juice that I've squeezed yesterday actually and I've put it in a glass bottle. I've used it for my fruit salad, which was delicious. Now that I've showed you some easy ways of taking action at home, let's get to the part where I clean up the beach. Logically, I've walked there with my friend, so it was pretty cool and like it just makes sense since I live next to the beach. I don't know if you can see it really clearly, but like the sand part is so narrow. Like it used to be so much wider and the sea is like getting nearer and nearer each day. Apart from that, I've really enjoyed going to the beach, like just the fact that we went to the beach, it was so cool because, you know, each day we enter like various buildings and just, it was so different, like I loved it. Okay, let's get to the serious part, so yeah, I've been picking up some of the trash that I found. Um, and yeah, I've, I've liked it because I felt like I was taking action, but at the same time, I've had fun. Like it was, yeah, I really liked it. I've also met a friend, how cute is he? And yeah, the experience was pretty inspiring. Like I've liked it. Thank you a lot for watching this video, I hope you liked it, as far as I'm concerned, I'm really proud of myself, I've enjoyed it because I actually contributed to change and even if it's a tiny, tiny change, well maybe it's enough, maybe if each one of us does at least one of these things, maybe we can prevent humanity from going extinct, so I'm really optimistic about this one. Now, I dare you, because you don't seem to care a lot about the environment, to do the same thing, to try and just contribute to change. So, Lina Fruij and Marjorie Mishbal, it's your turn. You are nominated for the Green Nomination.